Agadir, located on the Atlantic coast, is the most famous seaside resort in Morocco. However, I often hear the opinion that there is nothing to do. So I decided to share with you 10 ideas that will help you make the most of your time in Agadir. Hi, my name is Sebastian. Just like in my previous videos, in this one I share practical information and useful travel tips that will help you spend your time even better in unique places. Today, 10 suggestions, ideas about what to do in Agadir. Watch my video until the end, please. Discover my proposals. I'm sure you will find something for yourself that will make your stay in Agadir even more enjoyable. Agadir's greatest asset is its great sand beach, five kilometers long. The bay on which Agadir is located is a part of the most beautiful bays in the World Club. The area is well organized and maintained. The local services provide a sense of security and comfort. Showers and toilets are available near the beach. Access to the beach is free, which means you can lie down with your tower almost anywhere you wish. Hotels, which are situated next to the beach, usually provide their guests with sun loungers and parasols. There are also places where you can rent them for the equivalent of about 3 to 4 euros. A cheaper version is a parcel and two chairs for about 2 euros right at the water's edge. The beach is bordered by a beautiful promenade. It is an ideal place to walk during the day and evening. In the southern part it is more intimate. On the other hand, the northern part, which is closer to the marina and the hill of the old Kasbah, offers a wide choice of restaurants and cafes. At the northern end of the beach, the promenade leads to the marina. It is a pleasant place to walk around. The marina has several restaurants, shops and cafes, and of course, the yachts, whose presence completes the holiday feeling. The hill of the Kasbah is a landmark and a symbolic place for the city of Agadir. The huge inscription of the southern slope of the hill is the Moroccan motto, which can be translated as God, the Fatherland, the King. After sunset, the inscription is illuminated and visible for several kilometers. At the top, you can see the white walls. A fortress was built there in the 16th century. It later became the historic core of the city. In 1960, a huge earthquake hit Agadir, destroying much of the city, including the village on the hill. Only the rebuilt walls remain. Today, this historical site is very popular with the inhabitants of Agadir and tourists. The top of the hill offers a breathtaking view of the splendid bay of the city, the marina and the port. The tourist information panels in Arabic, English and French present the history of the site. The 236 meters high hill is accessible on foot. There is also a bus. At weekends, it runs all day during the week only in the afternoon. A ticket up and down costs less than 1 euro. A taxi to the top costs about 3 euros and the same for the return journey. The taxi stop is at the foot of the hill next to the bus stop. You can also get there by cable car. A single ticket costs about 5 euros, a return ticket about 8 euros. The cable car is the new attraction of Agadir. It opened in the summer of 2022. Now you can access the Kasbah Hill while enjoying a magnificent view of the Bay of Agadir and the city. 
The eight-seater cabins are modern, comfortable and very quiet. The route is 1,700 meters long and the ride to the top takes about six minutes. A single ticket costs about 5 euros and the return ticket about 8 euros. The big project is the construction of the second line to connect the Kasbah Hill to the new water park. In my opinion, going up the Kasbah Hill by cable car guarantees an unforgettable experience and the possibility to admire Agadir from another angle. A must do! Agadir has no Medina. This is due to the 1960 earthquake which destroyed the oldest part of the city which used to be located on the hill. However, a few kilometers south of the center there is a place called the Medina of Agadir. You can get there by bus or taxi. The entrance ticket costs about 4 euros per adult. It is a unique space created by Coco Polizzi, Italian artist born in Morocco. In the early 1990s, he began to realize his life's dream. Using traditional building techniques and craftsmanship, working with artisans of different specialties, he created an exceptional place. It is sort of open-air village museum where you can often see the craftsmen at work. The setting is fabulous and very original. The buildings seem to be a fancy combination of local architectural traditions and those of the Greek Roman culture. The Medina complex in Agadir is a charming place for a walk or a photo session. You can also watch the work of local craftsmen who have their workshops and shops on site. There is also a pleasant cafe restaurant and a children's playground. The Kasbah Zeus is a very well organized craft complex with nearly 60 craftsmen of different specialties. Among them you will find shoemakers, carpenters, blacksmiths, traditional jewelry makers, sculptors and even cooks. There are many interesting handicrafts. Handbags made of reused paper, raffia shoes, handmade jewelry made of silver and wood, bone and horn products, traditional Moroccan shoes, products made of thuja wood spices, natural cosmetics and many other local handicrafts. The place has an extraordinary website. It is simple and very useful. It presents all the artisans, their products and their specialties. So you can prepare your visit by viewing the shops on the internet before you arrive. The Kasbah Zeus complex is well worth a visit when you are in the Medina of Agadir. The two sides are only 850 meters from each other. This is what the entrance to the complex looks like when you come from the Medina of Agadir and from the main street. You can get to the complex by bus or taxi. There is no entrance fee. Crocopark is the first crocodile zoo in Morocco, opened in May 2015. It covers about 4 hectares. The designer of the place is Luc Fujihol, a reptile expert and crocodile enthusiast since his youth. The Nile crocodile is a protected species that has been extinct in Morocco since the 1950s. The main objective of the creation of the park was to protect the Nile crocodile and to allow the public to discover this animal and its way of life.
Currently, more than 300 crocodiles live in the park. Croco Park is an attractive place because of its diversity. It has playgrounds, signposts, educational boards and surprises for children. You can see their African sport tortoises, green iguanas, giant pythons, anacondas and white marmosets. In the park there is a rich botanical garden with plants from all over the world. Thanks to the passion and creativity of the funders, the park is constantly being developed. We can therefore be sure that we will soon see new animals and new parts of the park. The complex is located 15 km from the center of Agadir, on the road to Marrakesh. You can get there by bus number 5 or use the shuttle service for an extra fee offered by Coco Park. The Petit Train, small train, is a tourist road train and an attraction that allows you to see different parts of the center of Agadir. It runs from morning to evening. It leaves every hour or when people fill the wagons. The tour takes about 40 minutes. First, the train takes you along the beach. Then the route goes through the administrative district. Then near the Talborst district. Then in front of the royal palace. And finally, the train passes among the hotels on the front line on the beach. The small train ride allows you to find your way around the different districts of Agadir and to see the city from another perspective. The departure point of the train is 100 meters from the Kenzie Europa Hotel at the entrance to the Bird Valley, which is currently being renovated. You will find the ticket office there. The ticket costs less than 2 euros per adult. It is a pleasant and peaceful activity and not only for families with children. During your stay in Agadir, I think it is worthwhile to leave the tourist area at least once and go to the popular areas of Agadir, away from the hotels and the beach. I suggest the quiet area of Talborj district. It is only a 20 minute walk from the beach. There you will find shops, cafes, restaurants, hairdressers, mosques, the peaceful Olha garden and the local market with fresh fruit and vegetables, bread and flowers. A walk through this area is an opportunity to get a feel for the local atmosphere and to experience something new. You are also likely to find interesting shops and restaurants where prices are much lower than in the tourist area. There are several signs with a map of the neighborhood to help you find your way around and make the walk easier. I recommend stopping at one of the local cafes, ordering a green tea with mint, become a discreet spectator and observe the reality around you. In the Talbot district you will find the splendid Mohammed V mosque. The entrance is reserved for Muslims, but the exterior architecture can be admired by all. Living in the Talbot district, there is the Al Mugar bookshop. In my opinion, it is the best in the city. You will find a large selection of books, albums and stationary items. 
The Sugal Head in Agadir is a huge market that is well organized and surrounded by large walls. There are several gates leading to the Suk. Each of them has its own number. For example, behind gates number 1 and 2 there is the fruit and vegetable market. And gate number 7 leads to the many simple eateries where you can have fish, seafood, tagines and other local specialties. All at a reasonable price. You can find everything there. Fruits and vegetables, meat and fish, live poultry, spices, dried fruits, local and European clothes, fabrics, furniture, accessories, cosmetics, shoes. Suk is a colorful place with a lot of human energy. A place where you come to shop, but where you can also eat and drink, meet people, chat. I recommend this place to anyone who wants to experience the local folklore and authentic atmosphere during their stay in Agadir. The name Sukil Head means Sunday Suk, and indeed, it is most crowded on Sundays. But the souk is open every day, except Monday. It is open from morning until sunset. You can walk to the souk or take the small taxi for 2 euros maximum. Please note that the souk is closed on Mondays. At the end, a proposal to visit the Hammam. The Hammam is a traditional Moroccan bath with its origins in the Roman baths. In a humid and warm room, the body is subjected to traditional treatments using black soap and clay. A visit to the Hammam is part of the Moroccan tradition, a kind of local spa. The experience is authentic, pleasant and beneficial to health, especially as it's often followed by a body massage. There are many hammams in Agadir to suit the needs of tourists. My favorite is the Argan Fita House. I recommend it to family and friends. The center has very good reviews from internet users. It offers a traditional hammam experience as well as massages and beauty treatments. The staff is experienced, the place is trustworthy and if you book a visit, the owner himself will pick you up and after the hammam, he will drop you off at the hotel. I absolutely recommend it. This was my list of 10 ideas to fill your time in Agadir. I'm sure you will choose something for yourself from the places and activities presented. Thank you for watching this video and if you are thinking of going to Marrakesh, I suggest you watch my video about top 10 attractions to do there. Thank you and see you soon!